There is only one trigger point written of in, in Travell and Simons. Over the years, I've found more. Yeah. And so you've just got to search around. The trigger points occur usually in the central part of the muscle itself before, because you realize that the muscle, is, these fingers are coming around and they're attaching, and, it, and it's about in the middle of the axilla, just before the little fingers insert into the ribs, that's where you find the trigger. And it's somewhere in the center here. Not hard to find. Is that tender? Mm, yes. Yeah. So again, a very common uh, area for, it, for there to be some tenderness. And you'll feel it over the rib because that's where the triggers are. So if you find that trigger, you can treat it with ischemic pressure, as we described. So that's sore. Yeah, so I reduce the pressure until there's no pain. And over the next 90 seconds, I gradually increase the pressure, keeping below the pain threshold until it's pain-free. Then we can use cold. The, for this particular muscle, it is recommended in Travell and Simons yeah, to start with the insertion, which is the area that the muscle inserts into the ribs and to run backwards to its origin. And then to stretch, we take the scapula and pull it back. Because remembering that the muscle itself will pull the scapula forward, you stretch the scapula back like that. And if you just rest your hand on your hip like that, that will tend to help retract the scapula all the way. Once we do that, sometimes I'll do two or three more runs of cold, all the way under here and down like that, across here and down there. Stretch it all the way. Again, the same principles. If we can't get very far and it's a very tight trigger, you can use neuromuscular technique of taking it as far as it'll go. Take a breath in. Hold your breath, you count six, one, six, you breathe out. As he breathes out, you count two, three, four, and then you'll find that you can get more of a stretch. I'm stretching the scapula to the midline, stretching out the serratus muscle. At the end of that, I take heat, and so for the heat, I run the heat bag, wheat bag, across the whole of the chest wall, underneath the axilla, and under there, just like that.